The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the book of Micah. Now listen to what Yahweh says. Stand up, state your case to the mountains, and let the hills hear what you have to say. Listen, mountains, to the case as Yahweh puts it. Give ear, you foundations of the earth, for Yahweh has a case against his people, and he will argue it with Israel. My people, what have I done to you? How have I made you tired of me? Answer me. For I brought you up from Egypt. I ransomed you from the place of slave labor and sent Moses, Aaron, and Miriam to lead you. With what shall I enter Yahweh's presence and bow down before God all high? Shall I enter with burnt offerings, with calves one year old? Will he be pleased with rams by the thousand, with 10,000 streams of oil? Shall I offer my eldest son for my wrongdoing, the child of my own body for my sin? You have already been told what is right and what Yahweh wants of you. Only this, to do what is right, to love loyalty, and to walk humbly with your God. And our response is from Psalm 50. Gather to me my faithful, who sealed my covenant by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his saving justice. God himself is judge. It is not with your sacrifices that I find fault, those burnt offerings constantly before me. I will not accept any bull from your homes, nor a single goat from your folds. But to the wicked, God says, what right have you to recite my statutes, to take my covenant on your lips when you detest my teaching and thrust my words behind you? You do this, and am I to say nothing? Do you think that I am really like you? I charge you, indict you to your face. Honor to me as a sacrifice of thanksgiving. To the upright I will show God's salvation and a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then some of the Pharisees and scribes spoke up. Master, they said, we should like to see a sign from you. He replied, it is an evil and unfaithful generation that asks for a sign. The only sign it will be given is the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah remained in the belly of the sea monster for three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will appear against this generation, and they will be its condemnation. Because when Jonah preached, they repented. And look, there is something greater than Jonah here. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will appear against this generation and be its condemnation because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And look, there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord.